Is it possible that electricity, a modern marvel, could intertwine with the age-old practice of nurturing plants, bringing about a revolution? What led to the birth of this electrifying union? Buckle up as we journey through the fascinating tale of The Inventor of Electroculture, Justin Christoflow's groundbreaking invention. One, digging into electroculture, blending nature and tech. Let's talk about a fascinating junction where technology melds seamlessly with nature, electroculture. When you first hear the word, you might picture some sci-fi version of farming with hovering drones or robots. But the truth is, electroculture is all about the natural electric fields that our world thrives on. From our earliest ancestors to modern-day farmers, the quest for a bountiful harvest has been a constant. In this pursuit, the realization that electric fields could potentially boost plant growth was a game-changer. This isn't a tale about robots handling plants or tech-filled greenhouses. It's a story of harnessing the invisible electric forces that are all around us. By using electroculture, it's like giving plants a motivational pep talk. They absorb more nutrients, speed up their cell growth, and photosynthesis becomes super efficient. Think of it like a runner training at high altitudes, only for plants. They're trying harder and reaching their full potential thanks to a little electric push. Mother Nature has known this secret forever. Consider the lightning storms we see. Besides the beautiful display, they leave the ground enriched, showcasing nature's way of using electricity for growth. In this fascinating world, a guy named Justin Christoflow saw the power of blending tech with the earth, creating a legacy appreciated by farmers and garden enthusiasts. 2. Introducing Justin Christoflow, a man ahead of his time. Picture 19th century France, where farming was about manual labor and waiting for nature's blessing. In this backdrop, a visionary named Justin Christoflow came into focus. Surrounded by vineyards and vast fields, Justin wasn't one to merely continue age-old practices. He felt a deeper connection to the earth and wanted to uncover its hidden treasures. For Justin, every piece of land was like a mystery waiting to be solved. And while many farmers were busy praying for rain or sunshine, Justin was fascinated by the energy below the ground and the atmospheric electric currents. He was convinced that the secret to extraordinary farming lay in tapping into these natural energies. With each new day, Justin observed, experimented, and learned. He believed that every element in nature, whether a leaf or a bird's song, had a story to tell. This wasn't just about farming more. It was about understanding the deep bond between humans, science, and the soil. In an age where sticking to the old ways was the norm, Justin dared to think outside the box. His early passions laid the groundwork for exploring the magic of electricity in agriculture, setting the stage for a revolution. 3. A Stormy Night and a Spark of Curiosity During one of his regular days in the countryside, a sudden storm transformed Justin's life. As lightning painted the sky, it also illuminated Justin's curiosity. After the storm, he noticed something amazing. The plants, after being exposed to the storm's electricity, seemed more vibrant and lively. This observation raised several questions. Was there a connection between the storm's electricity and the enhanced vitality of his crops? Could the electricity from storms provide some unseen benefits to plant growth? Not one to leave questions unanswered, Justin began to explore the electric influence on plants. For him, this wasn't just a fleeting curiosity. He believed he was on the brink of a significant discovery. Nature had given him a clue, and he was eager to follow its lead. He started with rigorous experiments, aiming to recreate and control the electrifying effects he'd observed. The goal was clear. Understand and harness the electric boost that nature inadvertently provided during storms. 4. The Experimental Garden, Successes and Discoveries By the early 1910s, Justin's garden had become a blend of nature and innovation. Alongside blooming flowers and green plants, one could see electrodes and feel the faint hum of electricity. This wasn't a sci-fi scene. It was Justin's lab in the open, where he tirelessly worked on his electroculture experiments. His efforts were paying off. Plants that grew with the aid of electric fields seemed healthier, growing taller and looking more vibrant. Come harvest time, the electrified plots produced more than just higher yields. 
the quality was noticeably better, too. But it wasn't just about the successes. It was about the journey. Through ups and downs, Justin remained dedicated, each failure only adding fuel to his resolve. Every day brought new challenges, but with them came breakthroughs that would change the way people saw agriculture. 5. Facing the Skeptics Doubt Meets Determination With every groundbreaking idea, there's bound to be skepticism. As word spread about Justin's remarkable garden, many were amazed, but not everyone was convinced. Traditionalists found it hard to believe that electricity could influence plant growth, and some scientists demanded more evidence. Facing doubts and challenges, Justin didn't back down. He became even more thorough, recording every observation and experiment. He didn't just want to prove his point. He wanted to educate the world about the wonders of electroculture. He opened his gardens to scrutiny, shared his findings, and engaged in dialogues with peers and critics. This wasn't just a personal mission. He was charting a course for future generations to embrace the harmony between electricity and agriculture. 6. A Legacy Reborn Electroculture Today Fast forward to today, and Justin Christoflow's pioneering work has come full circle. As we strive for sustainable agricultural practices, the concepts he introduced are being embraced and expanded upon. From high-tech labs to innovative startups, the principles of electroculture are being integrated into modern agriculture. But it's more than just advanced tools. The resurgence of electroculture is based on a simple idea, that technology and nature can work hand-in-hand. Today's farmers and innovators are not just using electroculture. They are redefining it, tailoring its principles to diverse environments. This journey from Justin's first observations to today's expansive practices reminds us of the enduring power of a visionary idea. It's proof that great thoughts can transcend time, influencing and inspiring generations. The tale of Justin Christoflow and his pioneering work in electroculture encapsulates the boundless potential that lies at the intersection of passion, observation, and innovation. His legacy serves as an inspiring reminder. With an open mind and a relentless spirit, one can redefine conventional wisdom, laying down pathways for future generations to tread and flourish upon. Have you ever experimented with unconventional gardening techniques or been intrigued by the blend of tech and nature in your garden? Share your experiences or thoughts below, and let's spark a green conversation. Hit the like button and subscribe to stay tuned with Garden Club as we unravel more enthralling stories from the green world. Thanks for watching, and happy gardening!